determine the area of the given figure, notice how we'll have to determine the area of this rectangle here as well as the area of half of this circle. So to determine the area of this rectangle, we'll use the formula area equals length times width. So go ahead and label 12 meters the length and 10 meters the width. Then to determine the area of half of this circle, we'll use the formula area equals pi r squared, where r is the length of the radius, but then we'll divide this by two because we only have half of the circle. And we know the length of this segment here is 10 meters, and the radius would be half of this length, the distance from here to here, which would be five meters. So now we have all the information we need to determine the area of this figure. And because all the dimensions are in meters, we're determining the number of square meters that would fit inside this figure. So the area will be the area of this rectangle, which will be 12 meters times 10 meters. We'll leave off the units until the end, plus the area of this half circle, which will be pi times the radius squared, which will be five meters squared, all divided by two because we have half of a circle. So we'll determine the exact area, and then we'll determine the approximate area to the nearest hundredth. So our area is going to be equal to, this will be 120, plus this will be 25 pi over two, or 25 pi halves. And again, this would be meters squared. So this would be the exact area of this figure. And now we'll use the pi key on the calculator to get an approximate value of this area to the nearest hundredth. So we'll have 120 plus numerator of 25 pi divided by two. So the area is approximately 159.27 square meters. Now I mentioned this in several of the previous videos, but it is worth mentioning again. A lot of times you're asked to use either 22 sevenths or 3.14 for pi. So if we use an approximate value for pi instead of the pi key, it is going to affect the accuracy of this area. Let's go ahead and try using 3.14 and see how it's different. So it'll be the same except we'll have 25 times 3.14 divided by two. And notice how it is a little bit different because when we use the pi key, we're using more decimals for pi than just 3.14. So be sure that you read the directions carefully when performing calculations with pi. Our approximate area is actually more accurate than the one here listed at 159.25.